Ronan Hart again, February 6, 2023, Won't Back Down protest inside of Tiger Hall, and I am speaking with... Ava Kaplan. Uh, Ava, what are you doing here today? Today I am protesting the first day of President Ben Sass's tenure as the president of the University of Florida, but kind of more symbolically, I'm also protesting the encroachment of fascism into the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. um, so what was concerning you about Ben Sass specifically taking this position? Um, there's a few things that concern me about it. The first kind of most obvious one is his um, past as a Republican senator and his time at as president of um, a university in Nebraska, just because his track record as being um, anti-reproductive rights, anti-tenure, anti-LGBT, and having like very conservative um, political beliefs is really concerning as a student here at the University of Florida where we have a very diverse um, community that I, I really want to protect. And the other um, aspect that really concerned me was the way he was um, kind of nominated as president. It was a very um, closed off process that didn't really take into consideration the voices of the people who actually make UF what it is, which are like the students, the faculty, and the staff. Um, do you think, you know, SAS's appointment um, is kind of connected to the larger situation around education in Florida politically right now? Yes, I do, which is really the main reason why I'm here is because I don't believe this is an isolated incident. Um, I find it difficult to give the Board of Trustees the benefit of the doubt with SAS's appointment, considering that there is a pattern taking place in the state of Florida regarding the policies being initiated by DeSantis and the Florida State Legislature attacking education, higher education, um, academic freedom, diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's really scary, and I believe that SAS is just one part of a larger plan to kind of do a political takeover of um, education in Florida by the DeSantis administration. Is there anything you're hoping to come out of this demonstration here today? Um, I mean, we've already accomplished a lot of what I was hoping to come out of it, which was just showing the administration that there is um, resistance to Ben Sass and to um, DeSantis's political infringement. Ideally, I would love to have our demands being um, considered and taking place, but I think my biggest picture, largest goal is to halt fascism in Florida and hopefully stop DeSantis from doing all this horrible stuff he's doing. So what would you say is kind of the plan going forward after today? That's a great question. I think some of it depends on what ends up happening here today, but I think that um, there's going to be a lot of scrutiny and attention to Ben Sass and every decision he makes, every move he makes at the University of Florida. I think there are people ready to mobilize um, in response to everything he does, and hopefully they get scared and realize that um, they can't just keep getting away with what they're doing because people will fight back and the power ultimately belongs to us. Okay, any parting thoughts? Fuck you, F. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for talking to me, Ava. You're welcome. Okay. Of course, thank you. Oh, go ahead.